Okay, we're back with our Q3 math benchmark review, and this is number 42. And we're still on SOL 516, but this is 516C. The student will compare data represented in a line plot with the same data represented in a stem and leaf plot. So basically, they're gonna give you a set of data and then ask you questions like this one where they want you to choose between the two. So let's go ahead and read this question. Mr. Hill recorded his students' scores on their last math test. And then there are all the scores. And if you notice, they did something that we tell you to do with your uh, data all the time. They put them in order for us. So I'm starting with a score of 43, and I go all the way to the end where there are a couple of hundreds. All right, so here's our question. He wants to display this data either on a line plot or a stem and leaf plot. So which display should he choose? So now I don't even have to really make these. I have to go ahead and read them carefully and decide which one of these statements is true. So let's read the first one. A, he should choose a line plot because a stem and leaf plot would have too many leaves for each stem. Well, that's actually not true. I don't mind if I have a, a few leaves as long as it doesn't get out of control. But um, let's go ahead and keep going here. So I don't, yeah, I don't think there's a problem with A. Let's cross that out. I don't think that's true. So B, he should choose a stem and leaf plot because the number line for a line plot would need to be very long. Now, I've actually gone ahead and drawn each one of these and I've done them like three different ways. And that actually ends up being the correct answer. And I'll show you in a minute why, but let's go ahead and uh, look at C and D first. He should choose a line plot because a stem and leaf plot would only have two stems. Well, that's not true because if you look, I've got 40s and I've got 50s and 70s and 80s and 90s and all the way up to 100, which would be a 10 in the stem. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six different stems. So that's just incorrect. And finally, D, he should choose a stem and leaf plot because a line plot would have too many X marks over each number. And that's wrong. And I'm about to show you in a minute why it's wrong, because actually I would only have two X's over each of these numbers. So even though a stem and leaf plot is my best choice, D gives me the wrong reason for why a stem and leaf plot. So I went ahead and did these and you'll see in a minute, this is what it would look like as a stem and leaf plot. And you could see that's a pretty reasonable stem and leaf plot. I have my six stems here and then I could see the leaves. Yep, the first one, there's my 43. Then I got a 52 and a 57. And the longest one in the set is the 70s, but that's not out of control. I got a 70, 71, seven, two 74s, a couple of 78s. And this is what I want when I do a stem and leaf plot. But look what it would look like if I tried to do a line plot. Whoa. So you see, I'm not really getting a lot of benefit from a line plot. I mean, here it is. I had to go all the way from 43 all the way to 100. And the most that I ever had were just two X's. See, this is why D was wrong. And I want you to notice something about the number line here. I kind of, uh, I did this two ways for a reason. This first one, that's not really a number line because I didn't count by ones and I didn't even count by the same interval, like uh, 40, 45, 50. I didn't count by fives or twos or threes. I just listed the numbers that they gave me. So technically that number line is not really correct because the intervals are not correct. The one under it actually did a, a real number line. If you notice it's 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, but look at all that wasted space. Man, that's a lot of work for nothing. And all to show just what, that I don't have anything between 44 and 51. These are all zeros. All these big blocks of zeros. Well, that doesn't really give me any useful information. 
And again, the only scores that repeated were this 74, a 76, a couple of 86s, a couple of hundreds. That's just not an efficient way to show my data. But the stem and leaf plot, it gets all it gets me all my information and does it a lot easier. So that's why B was our correct answer. He should choose a stem and leaf plot because the number line for a line plot would need to be very long. It would just be out of control and I'd have a lot of wasted space. All right, there you go. That was number 42.